Have you ever tried practicing your Spanish in Liverpool? <laughs> it might sound like an odd question. I mean, why would you head to Liverpool to practice your Spanish anyway? Surely it's easier and more effective to practice, well, in Spain. Uh, of course it is. But what if you're not heading to Spain anytime soon and that the trips that you've got booked are in the UK? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you, actually show you, how you can effectively practice your Spanish in the UK, specifically in Liverpool. And if you're new around here, hola, bienvenidos to my channel. Yo me llamo Kelly and this is Adventures in Spanish. Listo, vamos. Okay, so practicing Spanish like the methods outlined in this video can greatly enhance your fluency and comprehension and it'll provide you with a well-rounded learning experience without the need to travel. Now, I'm an advocate for language immersion and seeking out connections of your target language in your local community. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can effecti effectively do just that in a city you don't know very well, which in my case is Liverpool. And as all major cities, Liverpool attracts a lot of European visitors, so there are many ways you can practice your Spanish here. The first thing you need to do is tune your ear in. Now I know what you're thinking, <laughs> or what you might be thinking. The Liverpool accent is so broad. How is it even possible to drown it out enough to be able to hear anybody speaking anything other than Liverpoolian, never mind Spanish. But if you stay open to the possibility and realise just how many tourists there are, you'll soon start to pick up on the odd word or two. Especially at the main tourist spots, the main attractions like Liverpool Cathedral, Liverpool One or Chinatown. If you head there, you'll find many, many people taking photos. And what better opportunity to practice your Spanish than to offer to take their photo? You might want to say something like, Quiere que le saco una foto? Would you like me to take a photo for you? This is a thing. Believe me, on my last visit to Liverpool, I bumped into a group of Spanish speakers who asked me to take a photo of them by the entrance to Chinatown. Another thing you can do is to book a table at a restaurant where you know the waiters will be speaking Spanish. Booking a table at a Spanish restaurant doesn't necessarily guarantee that the staff will speak Spanish, so you're going to need to do your research. It might take a bit of trial and error as well, so you might need to try a few different restaurants out. What a shame. Uh, the Argentine restaurants famed for their meat dishes are usually a, a great place to start and they normally employ staff from Argentina. So places like gaucho and meat, they're both fabulous. I recently took my family for an amazing dining experience at Fazenda. Most of the staff at Fazenda speak Spanish. There are some that speak Portuguese because it's got a lot of uh, Brazilian influence, but they're more than happy to speak Spanish with you. Plus, the food is amazing. Another thing you can do if, like me, you live in quite a rural area, <laughs> um, visiting a city is a great opportunity to visit an indie bookshop. So where I live, there aren't many, there aren't any. And they usually have an alternative selection to the books available at mainstream shops like Waterstones. So for example, in Liverpool, there's um, uh, an indie bookstore called News From Nowhere. It's fabulous. It's on Bold Street in Liverpool and it's got a great South American section with lots of alternative literature on South American politics and its history. And if you're into South American history, the book Open Veins of South America, Las Venas Abiertas de América Latina by Eduardo Galeano is a fabulous book and a must read. Okay, so that's not exactly practicing your Spanish, unless you purchase the Spanish copy, which of course is available as well. But you are learning about Latin American history and culture, which is also mega important when you're learning Spanish. Another thing you can do is to book a hop on, hop off open bus tour. 
So these are a great way to visit any city. And by selecting Spanish audio instead of English, you're doing that little bit more to help tune your ear in and develop your Spanish listening skills. Finally, Liverpool Cathedral. So it's the largest religious building in the UK and the fifth largest in the world. And it attracts loads of tourists every year. I don't know how many, muchos. In fact, the information leaflets are available in 10 different languages inside the cathedral. So instead of automatically picking up the English version, grab the Spanish version. I picked up a copy of a Spanish one on my last visit to Liverpool. And even on the front of it is a lesson in the difference between por and para. So it's a great way to extend your Spanish vocabulary and get a little bit of extra grammar in. Plus, if other people see you with a Spanish leaflet in your hand, they may be um, encouraged to approach you speaking Espanol. So there you have it, five ways you can effectively practice your Spanish in Liverpool. I bet you didn't think it was possible. <laughs> Hasta la próxima. Adios.